the hummingbird is really doing a lot balance wise they'll fall if they don't keep working well with their flight you know it's not quite like the fish it's not quite like being on the ground it's not like really any other bird because of their hovering yeah it's more like the insects but we can kind of feel this appreciation of the coordination of the hummingbird by the complexity of this lesson and so I'll give you another hopefully not too frustrating thing to practice but it should be fun. Okay, so here is a hummingbird uh, multi-coordination practice for you to work with. Okay, this is for humans. <laughs> the best we're going to do for flying is getting off of our chair <laughs> and coming from sitting to standing. Okay, and so let's take your stick or your straw on the tip of your tongue. Huh? Think about if you were a hummingbird and you had to go up into a flower with the tip of your tongue. All right, let's do it. Let's see, if you're left-handed, let's make this easy for you. Let's hold the stick if you're left-handed with your right hand. If you're right-handed, hold the stick with your left hand so you can use your right hand as this circular motion. We'll just do a simple circle right now. Not, not a figure eight, not a figure eight just a circle, okay? Which is not the full movement, right? But it's, we'll approximate it for now. Now, I want you to move your tongue in and out and make a circle. And I want you just to rock from one sitting bone to the other. Reverse your arm circle, because sometimes you go backwards as a hummingbird and then reverse again. Now rest. Okay. Now you can keep doing that because that's pretty hard, but let's add the infinity sign, the figure eight sign, okay, into the movement with your wrist, okay? Now, if that is just all you can do, just to make an infinity sign, don't worry about your tongue. But if you've got that down, start moving your tongue in and out, in and out, and moving in your chair a little bit from one sitting bone to another, as if you were looking for flowers, and then rest. So and we're not gonna do this on your other hand, switch sides, but you'll just, if you want, you could just stop this recording and then go back and do it with your other side. But let's do the last time. Again, you can either do circles or you can do this a little infinity motion with your hand. Yeah. And we're gonna come up to standing, moving your tongue in and out. Ha! Now, if you don't wanna do the tongue in and out, just try to come to standing. Now, come up to standing, come back down to sitting. And be as light as you can, as light as you can, as light as you can. Tongue going in and out, all right? Isn't that fun? So we can do that with the other side uh, I don't want to spend all the time right this moment doing that, but you could play with those steps first with your other side so that that non-dominant hand gets some practice with the circle, with the infinity, and then playing a little bit with shifting on your side to side and then eventually coming up to standing. Okay, so that's a fun little practice that you can do to simulate this idea of really lightness and flying like the hummingbird. Thanks for liking and subscribing and please join me on Patreon. See you soon.